Yo, what's going on, party people? Fat boy family, man. I appreciate you coming through for another video. I hope that you are having an amazing Wednesday, man. We're dropping a lot of content. It's just something about, you know, I have a schedule that I normally stick to. I'm supposed to drop this decant video on full bottle worthy Wednesdays on Wednesday. And then Fat Boy um, Fridays is a full fragrance review. And you know, I'm pretty much dropping a short every day, but sometimes around Tuesday or Wednesday, I get antsy, man, and I just start throwing a lot of content y'all way. Um, so a lot of this is probably really preparing for when we hit um, monetization officially, um, maybe for memberships, you know what I'm saying? So we can just kind of cool out, you know, and not necessarily burn out or whatever, but a lot of these exclusive behind the scenes things that are really off schedule, you know, that may be a membership type thing. So don't, don't act funny when it comes. I'm telling you now, as my grandmother would say, start out like you go hold out. So I'm setting the stage, but, uh, the reason you're here is because of the title and the thumbnail literally just got this in the mail. Um, shout out to perfume box for sending that over. Um, they only sent it by mail. I paid for it. I'm not at that level yet. I didn't get it, but perfume box, if you want to send me anything, you know what I'm saying? Holla at your boy. Why wait until we get to 10, 20, 100, 50,000? Like y'all, y'all start working with some of these, these micro, these nano and micro creators, man. And I'm not, I'm not trying to promote myself. I'm just saying there are a lot of people out here who are doing dope things, who have dope insights, who are really, really, really good at what they do. And so um, they're going, they move the needle. You know, they may not move the needle with somebody that has 500,000 subs, but they move the needle, you know, with the people that they have, you know, so it is what it is. I'm not necessarily trying to get a check. I'm not trying to get affiliate. I'm not trying to get a commission. I'm just trying to talk more about fragrance. And what do I always tell y'all? I want you to enjoy life at a fraction of the cost that people are charging because the cost of living is high and the cost of fragrance is high. So anything that's going to help your boy, I'm not going to lie. Y'all see my video, my short about Joe Milano. You know what I'm saying? If you follow me on IG, I gave you the whole breakdown and I'm gonna post that here later too. So I'm not gonna lie just for the sake of the hype. I'm still gonna tell you the truth, you know? So if that stops me from, you know, getting a bottle here or decant there or discovery set there, so be it. I'll keep spending my own money, but I did spend my own money on this. I just wanted to say shout out to Perfume Box because my Joma shop people, y'all suffering, y'all struggling. Maybe you'll get it by Christmas. I don't know. And it was higher. I don't understand how you can tax people on the price when perfume box and perfume online were charging way cheaper, which lets me know that once fragrance buy gets it, it's going to be much cheaper. You taxing people and you probably people not probably going to get it to maybe Halloween. That's real crazy. That's neither here or there. Um, speaking of partnership programs, man, shout out to my boy, one of my biggest supporters, man, Razor Ramon, the barber. Uh, most of you probably follow him on IG. You may follow him here on YouTube as well. Um, just became a member of the partner program, man. So congratulations to you, my brother. Um, shout out to you, man. Keep creating dope content. Uh, I believe my little brother, uh, Duran, um, Duran, uh, Duran, what's your last name? Henderson, Duran, the fragrances though. Yeah, I think you hit 2k. I think I saw you hit 2k or you supposed to be at 2k today. Shout out to the little bro. And, um, and listen, I got to give a shout out to my boy, um, uh, John creating with John, uh, my other brother on um on ig you know what i'm saying i was so mad i was jealous because he got his already i've i've watched neeb's review i've watched ross's review and i've watched uh ashton's review just disclaimer i'm just letting y'all know um and i know what the word on the street is regarding this everybody says um it's similar to hachivak from nisha nate guess what i don't have hachivak I've never smelled Hachivat. So I can't lie to you and say it smells like Hachivat. So I'm literally gonna just, you know what I'm saying? Let me go ahead and unbox this, but I'm literally just gonna give you my opinion based on what it smells like. I mean, cause I don't have anything to compare it to. Of course, we know what the hope was. We know what the initial hype was when it was first released. I even put up a short about that, what people were saying it was gonna be. I think actually, which would have been a more pleasant surprise. I think the original thing where people were trying to say this, this, this um, blend, this hybrid of uh, um, Creed Aventus and Dior Sauvage, I think I would have probably appreciated that more. But I think Joe Milano, I think that's what High Roller is, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. 
But if I'm not mistaken, I think that's what High Roller is, the joint that Joe Milano just came up with. Neither here or there. I'm, we just gonna talk about the initial impressions, the sense, whatever. I know people are throwing this a, a Venice thing out there as well. I mean, we gonna see. I do have a Venice. I don't have Hachi Vibe, so I can't make that comparison. But for those of you who have not seen anybody else's review, this is the box. And this is simply gonna be purely first impression. I can't talk about projection. I can't talk about performance. If you wanna know that, ask Neeb, ask uh, Create with Jonathan, ask Ashton, ask Ross. I can't tell you that. I'm literally taking this out the box for the first time. Now, one of the things that's dope as normal with Risasi, with the Hawass, is the bottles. Look at that black, man. Look at that black. You still got the Risasi logo on the bottle. You know what I'm saying? This, this doesn't say, well, it's kind of a fingerprint magnet. It's painted glass. And you just got the sticker information on the bottom. So I'm gonna always show y'all that for the presentation. This juice is dark. So this is really, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that this wasn't something more leaning to something for the fall. You know what I'm saying? Hachi Vibe, from what I do know, is not really a fall fragrance per se, even though technically, I mean, if you work in the office or something like that, you can wear anything year round, but, uh, yeah. Uh, let me just pull up the notes real quick here. I do have that. So in the top, we got pineapple, grapefruit, and bergamot. In the middle, we got cedarwood, patchouli, jasmine, and in the base, we got oak moss, woody, and amber. So I mean, the color definitely gives you it's gonna be an amber style fragrance, but we'll see. So let's go ahead and get this spray in. I don't even have no tester strips with me right now, but it don't matter. I don't have anything on skin right now today. Let's get some in the air. Oh, this is good. Now let's be honest. Did I buy this because of the height? Yeah, I bought it because of the height. <laughs> I don't do that often, but I pre-ordered this because of the height. I was like, what? Yeah, let me get that. Oh, let me spray that again. Why not? Atomizer, y'all can see that. She pushing. I mean, she pushing. Like, I, I got I got juice everywhere. Pause. Super no ditty. I mean, let me wipe my bottle off. Wipe the cat. So, so the atomizer is. Yo, this is. This is oily. Yo, so, okay, so I see what Ross was saying. Ross was saying this, yo, this is just a bad, this is a bad timing. All that baby, Paul, super Paul, whatever. Let's just keep going. No, but real talk, this is super oily. Like, I don't know if you can see the bottom. I wish I could show y'all my desk right now. But look at all the smudge marks. Look at that. Thank God for 4K so you can see that. That's from the oil. That's, 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 that's all the oil that just came from the smudges. Luckily I got a, a microfiber cloth right here, but let's deal with the scent. Okay. So, so one thing we know, and Ross did say this, the, I, I can tell you the performance on this is going to be crazy. Cause that's a lot of oil. That's new for Hawass. That's new for a lot of people uh, that usually only niches give you the only, the only person I know that gives you oil concentration that high. It's Terrence from the Czar. I've never come across another brand to, to push out that much oil than I just saw. You can even tell the spray was thick the way it came out. You know how you got like rain and then you got that hard rain, they like pellets, like they be hitting you. That's how that junk came out. Nonetheless, what does it smell like, Walt? Um, you definitely get the grapefruit and the bergamot off the top. The pineapple hides in the background. Like, so it's not, so, it's not like super a Venice to me. A Venice kind of hides in the background. I can see some similarities, but definitely, yeah. For those of you who have smelled Hachivat, I haven't. This is definitely probably going to be more related to Hachivat than a Venice because it's not it's not really close to a Venice for me. And I said I was going to spray this on skin because I want to see what the dry down is going to be like. Good God Almighty. Woo! That's crazy. I'm going to have to let that air out. 
Um, but yeah, you get it, 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 it smells good. Is it worth the hype? Uh, let's deal. You know how our Versace just dropped Eros Energy and it's not Eros, it's, it's not a it's not really a flanker, it's completely different. I don't know if that's going to be a trend. Um, where a lot of people are going to start doing that. Cause I kind of get those vibes. Like what's the, um, the new, the new Dior that I did a short about the other day. It still smells like Sauvage, but it's kind of, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a flanker. I think it's kind of, I don't know. You may agree with me on that. You may disagree. Kind of like with Elixir. I was like, this is not really a flanker. This kind of stands on its own, but we're going to use the marketing power of the line to push it. Same thing with this. If you're looking for Hawass, like if you're looking for Hawass, like the original Hawass and and then um, Hawass Ice, that's not what you're going to get. But you're getting the marketing power that is behind Rasasi and Hawass. But smells good, man. Like it, it smells good. This is a, this is this is going to be a beast come springtime, summertime next year. So I would love to see how you let this one sit on the shelf and just macerate. It's probably going to be a beautiful sight, man. But again, like I said, it's not a lot of pineapple up front. It's just enough um, to give people a hint of why they say it might be a Venice. The cedar wood, the patchouli, the jasmine, oak moss, sweaty amber. I'm still getting a lot of that grapefruit and that bergamot, but. Yeah, this is probably going to be one of the shorter videos I've done. How long I've been talking? How long I've been running my mouth? Rewrite it 12 minutes. I don't think I'm going to go on 13. Is it worth the hype? Eh, probably not. Is it worth the purchase? If it's not worth the hype, it's not worth the purchase. I mean, it's, it's not bad. If you order it from Perfume Box, I mean, you're going to pay a decent price for it. Hopefully this doesn't do what Hawass and Hawass Ice did where people charging like 70, 80, 90 dollars. I don't think it's going to do that Um, because I don't think it's that good. Like it's good. It's it's good on its own. But um, yeah, I can't say it's a dupe or clone to Hachivat because again, I don't have Hachivat. So I'm just purely giving you. A lot of grapefruit and a lot of bergamot. I mean, look at my hand. And I put on lotion today. That's crazy. That's super crazy. And like I said, as it dries down, you start to get some of that. You start to see where the moss and the patchouli, some of that, um, look, I call them herbal essence. Some of that earthiness that's hidden on the, it's very subtle though. It's mixed pretty well. Some of that subtlety is starting to come out with it, with the cedar wood and the amber and all of that. I'm not getting a lot of jasmine, but that bergamot is pushing. That grapefruit and that bergamot is really pushing, man. So yeah, let me know what you think. Again, I, if you want more projection performance to see how that's gonna work, I mean, this should give you a clue of what we talking about. If you seen how that atomizer was, but um, for more specific details on that, check out my boy create with Jonathan Ross um, Neeb or Ashton's channel to figure out exactly what you're going to get for that. I haven't seen anybody else's video, so I'm not trying to leave nobody out. I'm just saying I ain't seen nobody else's video and I show love. I, I don't care. Like you can watch me, watch them, whatever. Hit the like button, subscribe. Y'all know I don't. I want you to comment. I want you to engage. Let me know what you think. Um, But don't fall for the hype. Don't be in a rush to get it because you're not really, unless you're in, you know, Texas, Mississippi, Louisiana, Miami, like unless you're still in summer, if you're in Florida, this might be worth the purchase because you're going to get wear out of this. North Carolina, you know, we get all five seasons in one week right now. North Carolina, we get all five seasons in one week right now. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I wouldn't be in a rush to get this if you live north of the Mason Dixon or whatever, maybe even Georgia where you still got a lot of humidity. Alabama, you got a lot of humidity and stuff going on. But yeah, man, it's it's good. It's straight. Is it worth the hype?
Now nah, it's cool, but what was it? $50? $48? How much I pay for this? I don't even know. Perfume box had it for cheap. Let me, matter of fact, I'm on the website now. This was $56.75. I don't think I paid that. I'm gonna tell y'all exactly. I don't like lying to people. Maybe I did. It ain't like I got no discount. Let's go to perfume box. I ordered this on September the 4th. How much was it? No, I actually paid, maybe I paid more, 59.70. So it actually dropped a couple dollars. I'm sorry it took so long to get that. But yeah, so I, it actually is cheaper. It's a couple dollars. That still don't sound right though. Nevertheless, go, I'll drop the link down in the description. Go buy it from Perfume Box. Don't order it from Joma Shop. You're not gonna get it. I guarantee you if you order this from Perfume Box today, um, even Perfume Online, cause I saw they were getting their stuff out early. Um, you will still not have them pre-ordered it. You can order it today and still probably get it before anybody from Joma Shop get theirs out. I hate to say it, you know, if that puts me in trouble with Joma Shop, oh well. Um, it'll be all right. It's not the end of the world. Nonetheless, I told you, y'all know I can run my mouth. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you can be notified every single time I drop a new uh, video to the channel. But yeah, holla at your boy in the comments and let me know if you have it, what you think. Do you plan on getting it? Y'all heard what I said. Am I tripping? Hachiva, is it even worth me getting a sample? Maybe it's fall. I have no intentions on getting it because I'm not going to wear it until it gets back to probably. This is a 90 degree weather fragrance. But with this level of oil concentration, a sunny 80 degree day, you can probably do well with that too. Nonetheless, I'm shutting up. Y'all be easy. Um, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Holla at your boy.